Battle number two, let's get it going. All right, so I've seen this guy before. He's pretty good. His Cubone messed me up earlier. He's going to start off with Sveal. Yeah, I think he knew that I was going to start off with Sandy here, so I'm going to switch into Execute. This thing is ice, though, so yeah, Ice Beam's gonna do massive damage. Didn't know that. That was a misplay. That was bad. Alright, so it's Ice Water. I'll go into Blitzel. And I should be faster, so let's go with a Volt Switch. Although, if he switches into something like Cubone or Onyx, this isn't gonna do anything. And I, I pretty much expect him to do that, but... I'm going to go for Swagger because of that. Oh, use Protect. All right. Hmm. Interesting. I'm just going to keep using Swagger until it works. I'll use Swagger again, predicting a switch. He probably expects me to have Volt Switch or Wild Charge, so I'm not exactly sure why he's staying in with this feel. But we'll see. All right, so I hit the Swagger, and he hit a Toxic. That's kind of annoying, but Blitzel isn't too annoying, or Blitzel isn't too important to my team. He's kind of just a annoying thing that I can use to take out one Pokemon per game. Oh, he went into Onix. Good play. And that makes Blitzel pretty much worthless. Yeah, I don't have anything that can hit this. I'm going to have to go into Tortuga here way before I want to. And he's just going to throw up a Stealth Rock. Okay, I'm going to Shell Smash and hope I can get this working. Hopefully he can't one-hit KO me, but he might be able to. Dragon Tail. No, that didn't do... Oh, that was smart. Wow. Did he predict all that? That was a good play. Wow. But Drillbur is the Pokemon I want to have out, so I'm going to Earthquake this Onix. I've already got my sand going, so Drillbur is going to be in a pretty good position here. But that Cubone, that Cubone can mess me up. This guy's playing very smart. Wow, super effective only did that much, huh? Well, that's not good. Let's just go with uh, another Earthquake and finish off that Onyx. This thing's also Life Orb, so I have a limited amount of attacks I'm going to be able to do. He sends out Apom. He's probably just trying to get this out of the way. Oh no, he's got Fake Out. Yeah, that was a smart play. I'm not feeling too good about this one, to be honest. <laughs> uh, this guy's good. I've played him before. Let's go with a High Jump Kick, because that's about all I can do. He's going to U-Turn. Probably go into uh, Doduo. No, Cubone. High Jump Kick does pretty massive damage, so that's good. But now, I'm kind of in trouble. <laughs> Let's try another one and hope I'm faster. If I can get this Cubone out of the way, I have a chance. But Bone Meringue's going to tear up the rest of my Pokemon. What are you going to do? Having Tortuga down already is pretty devastating. Alright, I hit the high jump kick though. We might still be in this. I will fight to the end. <laughs> okay, Mindfu. He's going to send out Apom again and go for an obvious fake out. He'll probably just use fake out and U-turn. But I can't really do anything to that, so I'll have to just take the fake out. That did a lot. Wow. And then he might be faster than Mindfu, so this should this could be a problem. I'm going to switch into... Oh, Tortuga's still alive? Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, he just used Dragon Tail on it. That was my bad. I'm going to go into Tortuga now. Yeah. <laughs> I should have known that. That was dumb. And Mindfu has Regenerator though, so if I switch him out, he will gain back a third of his health. So that'll be helpful. And I predict a U-turn here. No, return. All right. So let's go with, should I go with a waterfall or 
I don't think I have a chance to set up anything here. I'm going to try a substitute. I can't. <laughs> I should have just gone with an attack there. I should have known Apom would be faster. That was kind of dumb. Now he's got Doduo. And obviously I can't make a substitute with 1 HP. Uh, that was a misplay. I might have had a chance here, but I'm just going to have to sacrifice this thing. And go into... What should I go into? I'll try to go into Hippopotas and see what that does. He's still got full health, so... I'll see what I can do. Now, can Doduo be hit with Earthquake? It might not be able to. I'm going to make a dumb play. Okay, he sent out Sphiel, though. That was a critical hit, so that's not good. I know for a fact Sphiel can take this thing out in one hit. But I don't really have anything I can switch into. All I have is Blitzel and Mindfu. I might have to sacrifice this thing. I'm going to protect. I know he's going to use Ice Beam, but... Yeah. I might be able to do some sand damage to him if I just protect. Yeah, obvious Ice Beam. At least I'm giving this guy a fight. He kind of swept me last time. <laughs> uh, yeah. This is not good. I'm going to try an Earthquake. Wow, I'm faster? Cool. Alright. Works for me. Three Pokemon to three Pokemon. I'm going to go down fighting if I go down. <laughs> I should be able to hit this thing. Yeah, it's got some hidden power. It's probably... Might be water or something. But Voltorb's down with an Earthquake. Hippop Hippopotas, you are saving me here. <laughs> Good job, Hippopotas. Now he's just got Apom and Doduo. Two pretty annoying Pokemon, but... Uh, Blitzel might be able to take out Doduo fairly easily. And here's an obvious fake out, so I'm going to protect... Yep, <laughs> most obvious fake out in the world. That's all these A-Poms are good for. Now I'm probably going to have to sacrifice my Hippopotas here. I'll try to throw up a Stealth Rock if I can. Nope. Stealth Rock would have been good against Oduo. Okay, so at this point, if Mindfu can do this, Mindfu's pretty good. Let's put a fake out on this thing. He hasn't seen my mind food use fake out before, so he probably won't expect it. And that's a critical hit fake out. Wow, that was lucky. <laughs> that guy's got to be upset about that one. Now all he has is Go Duo, and I think Blitzel can take it out. Let's go for a Stone Edge, though. That can do massive damage as long as I don't miss. Come on, Stone Edge. This thing's flying though, so... And it's very fast, so he's probably just gonna use Brave Bird or something like that and take out Mindfu. But I'm hoping Blitzel can handle it after that. He's taking a long time to think. Yeah, he just uses Return. Alright, it all comes down to this. Can I... My Blitzel's very fast also, but Doduo's probably gonna be faster. Now, can I... Get it with a Volt Switch. No, it gets a lucky critical hit and beats me there. Wow. There's no way Return would have taken out Blitzel there without a critical hit. And, oh, that's bad. Yeah, I don't think Return would have taken out Blitzel. And if I could have hit a Volt Switch, I, I definitely would have taken this thing out. Wow, that was lucky. All right, man. Good game. But you got very lucky there at the end. That kind of sucks. On to the next game.